Alright, hello everybody, Kamaz we're here. And today I'm doing something that I don't usually do. It's a Minecraft Top 10 video. So, um, I'm doing the Top 10 Most Not Known, Unknown, whatever you want to call it, things in Minecraft. Little known. <laughs> I don't know. So, starting off, for 1 or 10, maybe, chainmail armor can actually be crafted. So, I have the recipes here. And you may be like, wait, what? That's fire. You don't flint and steel or anything. So, this is a really weird thing that I didn't even know about to like... Well, I actually, I've known it for like a year, but, um, I was having trouble doing this command in 1.8, so if you do slash give, uh, myself, I would do either fire, that works, or I'm pretty sure 56. Oh, never mind, that's diamond. Um, maybe you can get 54. Alright, well, something along those lines. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. So just type slash, um, give fire, and what you can do with this, you put it in your crafting table like you usually would. And, um, this isn't part of the thing, but another actually unknown thing in Minecraft, if you, that, see that little scrolly thing on the middle of your mouse? If you click an item, it'll give you a stack. Not in survival, of course, but let's get ourselves our crafting table. And we can just snag that, put it down, and boop, pop, boop, chain, do, 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 thing, 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 and give ourselves a chain helmet. And we are good. So, um, yeah, that's basically how you make chain armor. Totally legit. And if you're wondering my skin right now, it's, um, Saf made this for me. It's like a real life kit skin, sort of. It's kind of cool. I'm wearing it. Um, it won't be a permanent skin, of course. It's just a temporary thing. But I think it looks nice. So, yeah, on to little known thing, number two. Alright, number two. So, we're doing armor stands here. And a lot of people don't know you can actually do a crap load of stuff with armor stands. Um, including move around their arms and legs. Arms. Ooh, you didn't know those arms? We'll get to that. Um, maybe in a video I'll do, like, some cool armor stand art. So let's just go to arms. Ooh, see? Armor stand's got arms. Oh, that's cool. The button stays there because it's an entity. It's got shoes. No gravity. So that armor stand there doesn't fall. That one has arms. You can even give it an item. See? If I click it. Oh. Actually, it doesn't work with armor. Let me just give it, uh, take this birch with plank. See? Takes your item. You can give it back. And, um, I'm pretty sure they can't dual wield. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't, but it'd be cool. Cool thing they Jane. So, um, this is our chain armor from earlier. It, um, it, the armor itself crosses over, but the fire doesn't. So, you can get a small baby zombie size. Still works with the armor and stuff. And, um, next we have an invisible armor stand. So, you get cool floating armor. I'll, I'll keep the arm on that so you can see him. So for that, you can do a lot of cool stuff with adventure maps and stuff. And no base plate, so it kind of looks like he does because of the button, but there's nothing on the bottom. So for um, armor stand art, this would actually look kind of cool. So I'll do one little armor stand thingy, and I'll be right back. Whoa! It's almost like I have my own evil twin. Yep, so here it is. Um, it, You basically pose any way you want and put on armor. You can stick on a player head, and it's good. And if I wanted to make it look super much like my skin, I could use the, um, the leather stain stuff. So I'll just quick show you how I did this. Um, you could do it full, totally by command. Like, you put the positions here and your skull owner to get the, the head. It's back here, but um, I'll just show you the... There's a really handy website I did. Alright, so this is a Minecraft website, Minecraft Armor Stand. Link's up here. Um, if I remember, I'll stick it in the video. So you can, like, invisible all the stuff, toggle on and off. And then from here, you can just choose your position. He could be exorcist, be all the way up there. He could be crazy, crazy stuff. You could do oh, oh well, <laughs> like hey there, buddy. Oh yeah. You could do all sorts of wacky stuff with this, and um, it's a lot of fun. So um, on to the next one, number three. Next up, um, it's how to copy and paste in Minecraft. And even though it sounds kind of silly, this is actually a really little-known thing. So first of all, we're gonna type something. I believe I've done this in a past video, but hello. How's it going? How's it going? Alright. So to do this, see my, my mouse here? You put where you want it, press, press the shift key, then put the over arrow key to highlight. And then from there, I would press, um, I, I don't know if it varies from computer, I think it's alt on a, um, Windows, but command C, backspace, command V, there we go. So that's just how you um, copy and paste in Minecraft. 
on the, to the next one. All right, up next are secret blocks. And um, as far as I can tell, I don't know if it's the weird 1.8 command thing not working for me, but there are such things as, um, oh okay, sorry, six-sided log blocks, and like, same thing with pistons and stuff. And for the sources I found, it would be um, log 12. And like, it works with other things, just like log stuff. I, I don't really know why it's not working. I've tried with the colon, it doesn't work, Let's see. So I really don't know, but um, just so I'm not cheating you guys out of a thing, I do have no one secret block. It's not so secret, but most people don't know how to get it. So this isn't really a block, it's a summon. So slash summon, ender, crystal, beam. And you get those fancy things in the end. And um, if you're above, if you're standing on the ground, you don't get the bottom, but if you're above, you get that cool little bottom. And they blow up pretty big, so. It's a nice thing. So uh, on to the next one. Number five, I think this is. This is a very, very powerful piece of material. So let's just set her off. Yep, a little lag. Uh, yeah, there you go. So this command, um, it summons in a fire charge thing that gas spit out. You can also get them in creative, but um, not quite the same. And this command, it summons in one, and it's not moving, and you can change its power here, so if I wanted to change it to simply five, I could put it right there. Oop. And see, it's not as big. So, um, it does make this weird design. You can't make, like, a giant, cool explosion crater, but we can have some fun with this village. So, if we go back to 150. Oh, no, where'd you go? Alright, there. So, if we just, boom. Hey, hey, hey. Do actually, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Oh, up oh, there we go. Yeah. Up oh, there, yep, that's the stuff. So, yeah, a bunch of villagers be burning now, frames be dropping. We miss run. Run, so, yep, um, all these commands I will put in the description, maybe? Hopefully, I don't know. Alright, am I laggy enough where I can fly? It, when you get laggy enough, alright, there you go. It's hard to do the flag command. So see that pretty much demolished that village. So yeah, pretty hardcore stuff if you ask me. So if we just head on over back to our normal spot. And um, beware, because this does cause a little lag as you can see. And look at this thing. What? Whoa. Wait a minute. Um, which one caused that? Um... I was not aware that the explosion caused that. Holy poop. Right, does that go all the way around? Oh, that's a cool discovery. It goes in layers. Oh, it's radius. Yeah, so if you look here, um, it's good for making a star or something. So see, it goes out in layers around. So if we go around and make a spiral. So if you're trying to make a cool design, you could always use this command. So yeah, there, now you know. The more you know, the, the smarter you are. So yeah, on to number six, if I am correct, but probably I'm not, so I'll just do a few more. So yeah, be right back. Alright, one thing you may know about super flat worlds, slimes are everywhere. But can we create one slime to rule them all? Boom. Da -da -da -da. Oh, wait, oh, <laughs> wrong command. Ah. Um, I was trying to figure out, you could do the same exact thing I'm about to do with, um, Magma cubes, but I don't actually know the exact command. Alright, look at this boy. He's pretty big. Yeah. Just look at how amazing he is. It's just a gigantic slime. Gargantua. Moves super fast. Look at him go. He's gonna terrorize the village. And you can go up to really big, though they still take the normal fall damage, so if you spawn one in the air, I will show you. He's most likely gonna die. So. See? Boy well, didn't die. I wasn't high up enough, but. And you might want to have a strong PC because these guys get pretty big. See, what, can we do a hundred? Yes, yeah, so that just shows you how amazing these creatures are. Here, can I punch him when he notice me? I right, know. I'm just gonna. Up oh, there we go. <laughs> All better. So yeah, if you're ever in a big lag situation with the mob, you might just want to switch to peaceful mode, and they'll be gone instantly. And, um, I think the explosion may have destroyed our armor stand. It's a good thing we got more at the ready. 
Oh yeah, take that explosion. You can't tell us what to do. Button. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. All right, on to the next one. Next, it's nighttime. I hope the zombies don't come and get me. Oh wait, look over there on the horizon. There's nothing. Nothing yet. Heh. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. So you've probably seen these a lot in mini games, giant zombies. And um, like them, there are other giant mobs in Minecraft, which I'll show you next. And um, you can hit them. Their hitboxes are down here. You can't hit them up here. Their hitbox, you gotta, you gotta hit them in the nards. It's the only way. So yeah, giant things. I'm guessing they have more health than usual. We can try and take one down, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna demonstrate a quick test here. I'm pretty sure Mr. Giant doesn't burn sunlight. Nope, that'd be a really big fireball. So I was keeping a day um, just to save me from all the other night creatures. So um, here we have diamond armor. Here I'll just equip it and I'll keep it out front because I'm a creative mode. Got an arrow, anvil, don't need that. So what we're gonna do is just see how many hits with a sword takes to take one of these guys down and how many hits with a bow. So if we could, all right, the slimes would be an extra challenge. Get away. Slash game mode zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, eight hits. Just to confirm that, um, let's spawn in one more here. Maybe I peek it away. Um, some giant. Oh, oh. I hey, buddy, okay. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yep, eight hits. Now let's try the same thing with a bow. All right, so a fully back bow. One, two, three, four. Hit. Hit. Thanks. Five, six. All right, six hits. So eight hits with the sword and four hits with the bow. Now you know. So if you're in a mini game or something where you need to kill a giant. Um, you can kill them, but these guys do not spawn naturally, so you're not going to be finding one of these in the wild. So, yep, on to the next one. Alright, so this is our second to last one, if I'm right, and if so, if I'm not, well, I'll either 9 or 11, something like that. But, um, this is, um, a, another giant, and, oh, oh, wait, um, easy. There we go, a ginormous wither. Oh, whoa, he just shrunk. Oh, whoa, wait, he was big. Oh, wait, one sec. Well, let me just go in here. He has no effect. Done. Oh, he's really big at first. Oh, wait, all right, no, there he is. He's up there. This is really weird, actually. Well, it's a thing to summon a giant wither, and it looks small, but it's really not. It's actually, like, really, really, really big. And uh, here, you can see the bottom of <laughs> it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty darn big if you ask me. Mayor, what if we go on F5? Can we get a better view? Yeah, well, it is there, and um, to do it, let's go over the command quick. And um, if you notice, it's named Grum. And that's simply because I believe it spawns upside down. And Grum, the name tags Grum and Dinnerbone, flip whatever um, entity you have. They're mostly mobs, I think. Upside down, so that's just why you do that. So it looks normal. So the involved... 100,000 is what makes it big, I'm pretty sure. And then there's the grum there. So, I'll just quick flash over the command. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I'll, I'll put them all in the description. So, yeah, um, that is that. And on to our final one. I think it's pretty darn cool. Look at this. Ender Dragon. Oh, no. But he can't move. And this is a good um, experience to, like, examine all. Ooh, like, his mouth is purple. Oh, nice pink eyes you got there, buddy. Look at that great wing texture. This reminds me of a guardian, actually. So, you may be wondering, how does one get an awesome thing such as this? Well, let me splap in this guy quick. Alright, so to do so, um, we just use this command to crap load of times. Blue them right here. So, this is, remember I mentioned earlier, armor stand art? You could do like freeze frame Minecraft stuff, so like armor stands, like running at it, Oogie. 
So like armor stands running at them with swords as the Ender Dragon onslaught begins. And they all face that way. I'm not sure if there's a way to make them face another way. Oh hey a bunny, I didn't spawn in you. Um, one thing, I'm not actually gonna um, spawn one of these in, but one thing most people don't know. There's a 1 in 1,000 chance of a killer bunny spawning in a Minecraft world. And it's got like red eyes and stuff, and it does like a lot of damage. It's not considered a boss, but it is pretty OP. So yeah. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this top 10 video. And if you would like to see more of these, if I, um, then if you know me in person, just tell me more and then maybe a topic I can do it on. Or if you're not and you just like videos, then comment below and tell me what you thought of this and if you would like to see more. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, but be a burger. Yeah? I won. Okay, sorry.